Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and in this week's video, I'm going to show how you can migrate templates from a previous release of Autodesk Inventor into Autodesk Inventor 2014. So here we go. Now I could do this by opening each template and saving it individually, but we're going to do this with a little more flair and migrate in mass using the task scheduler. So how do we get to the task scheduler? I start by going to the Windows Start icon, All Programs, Autodesk, Autodesk Inventor 2014, and then finally the Tools folder where I can see Task Scheduler. I'll go ahead and open that up, and I can see the different options inside of my Task Scheduler, one of which I'm going to choose, which is Create Task. There are several different tasks I can choose from, but the one at the top is the one I want, and that one is Migrate Files. Now when that screen comes up, I have several options. I can choose the project that I'm going to use to migrate. I'm going to go ahead and leave this on my 2014 project. I could migrate from Vault, but in this case, my templates aren't in Vault, so I'll deselect that. I can also choose files individually, choose folders, or choose all the files within a given project. In this case, I'm going to add a folder and select my template folder. With that selected, I can choose some more options. I can give the task a name if I want to, change the frequency, have a timeout if it runs too long, I can stop it. I can choose to start the task at a specific time, after hours for example, but in my case, I'm going to start it immediately. I could also create a log file if I want to. In this case, I'm not. Next, I'll choose my options, and I could choose to do a total rebuild of model files, skip any files that are already migrated, skip files with unresolved references, include assembly graphics for express mode, one of the new Autodesk Inventor 2014 tools, and in drawings, I can set defer update on drawings. I could also purge old versions and compact model history if I choose, but in this case, I'm going to go ahead and leave these settings as they are. I'll go ahead and hit OK, and the only thing left to do now is hit OK and start the migration. The migration will go ahead and begin, and it may take a few minutes based on how many templates you have. Given a little bit of acceleration for time, we'll go ahead and see the completed task. Once the migration is complete, I can go ahead and check the status column to see if there were any errors during the migration. Here, I have created an error to see what that error might be. I can right click on the task and choose the option to either create a report or export the errors to Excel. I'll create a report, place it on my desktop, and open it up. And here I can see the successful files and any files that had problems during the migration. Now here's an error that I've created. One of the files was read only, so it could not be saved. So all I have to do to fix that is find the file, uncheck read only, and go ahead and rerun the migration, and that file would run through. So there's an example of doing some migrations. Go ahead and give it a try. It's a lot easier than open the files one by one. And thanks for taking the time to watch this video.